Hello guys, this is Rahul for Rev Sports. Along with me is Neha Shesh and Shopnil. And this is the last video we are going to do from Bhuvaneshwar because it is time to leave Bhuvaneshwar and return back to our base. And I would like to appreciate all the fans the way they have uh, responded all our exclusive interviews and videos from last night games uh, because you know the result was not in India's favor. But still, the the fans were positive that this, this India can do well in the future. You know that's the only thing we need, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The fans were excellent in the stadium also, and as you said that after the match, the way we got the responses from the fans that was fabulous. And after the match, we got some uh, updates uh, on Manveer yeah. uh, from Igor's team. As he disclosed that Manveer gonna miss. Uh, will be out of action uh, for the next 10 to 14 days. So that means he is going to miss Mohan Bagan's crucial tie against Odisha FC, the AFC tie on 27 November. It's a big miss for Mohan Bagan because already Mohan Bagan missing Ashik Purunian. Mm -hmm. So after that, you know, Manbir missing is a, a huge setback for Mohan Bagan. But now we'll uh, talk, talk about India's last night game. You know, in the press conference, the coach said that. He the, our next big tournament is AFC Asian Cup. Mm -hmm. But what about the coach approach? What he said in the press conference? Yeah, actually, uh, the main thing that coach uh, pointed out at the press conference is that uh, he wants his players not to get injured, and that's why he took some decisions in this uh, last game uh, to rest some players and play some like the uh, change he made uh, regarding Amrinder. Uh, he uh, he bring. Uh, uh, Amrinder in the lineup instead of Gurpit Singh Sandhu because he wants uh, he don't want his uh, top players to get injured ahead of the Asian Cup and we know in the Asian Cup what challenges they are going to face uh, like top teams like Australia and all so I think that's a quite good decision and it also shows the belief the coach has on his player he believes that we have a strong uh, bench uh, players who can uh, put up a good show instead of our uh, top uh, playing 11 players so that's a good uh, belief and i think that also helps player to do well because they also think he, the coach has believed on me so i have a responsibility also to uh, repay the faith of course you know your team is of different gravy yeah. because hardly we see second goalkeeper making yeah. mark in the team when your first goalkeeper is of yeah. such a great height yes. and has been performing consistently yeah. But this time it's different because team, as you know, the good pressing was performing yeah. consistently, but yeah. still he gave an opportunity to Amrinder Singh in front of his home crowd to make a mark. Yes. But yes. Shapnil, the most important thing right now, see. So the most Saudi important here. thing right yeah. now yeah. is the masala dosa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> the masala dosa here. But yeah, we will continue our discussion. Yes, that is the will. most important thing right now. Mm. You know, last night after India Qatar's game, it's mm. Kuwait who has demolished Afghanistan 4-0. Yeah. And Kuwait have surpassed India in the points table. Now Kuwait is lying at the second position after Qatar in the first position, and India is now lying at the third position. So, Shopnil, do you think can still India qualify for the third round of FIFA World Cup qualifier? Yeah, yeah. As a like as a hopeful Indian, I am always hopeful that India will qualify for the third round because the next matches are with Afghanistan. Two matches with Afghanistan. One matches with Kuwait that uh, home match with Kuwait's home match and another match with Qatar on their home. So we still have hopes and Qatar should not rest with this performance mm. because Qatar was not at all that up to the mark mm. because we also opened the defense. We also attacked. So it's just the that uh, the finishing part was not that great. Yep. But still we tried to do everything that possible in the field but yeah i will say this uh, this indian team that you guys said that amrinder mm. so this coach is of different like something different in him because he he keeps pushing players that you are in the team but you have your you have your back if you don't play well you have someone he, else in the team yeah. you have to play well to make your mark in the team yes. You have to play well to make your mark in the team. You have to play a great game. Mm. You have to play with the team. You have to be a team man. So, the, as you said, this coach is of a different gravy. Mm. Mm. And he's something else that Indian football needs right now. Yeah, you know, if we start talk about Igor Stima, it will take the whole day. Because, you know, last no, night, yeah. not only the decision of uh, replacing Gurpreet Singh with Amrinder Singh, but also, you know, coach gave 
Udanta Singh a uh, opportunity yeah, because yeah. you know for last few matches Udanta Singh was not yes, getting yes. a chance in the playing mm-hmm. eleven mm-hmm. and the same time when Naurem and Shankar was performing so consistently it was just a stunning decision to start Udanta Singh in place of Mahesh Naurem again you know coach yes. is chosen in the press conference just because he knows that against Qatar it will be tough for India and at the same time it's AFC Asian Cup in January mm-hmm. so. You know, it's such a heroic decision from Igor Stevens to take such step in such a big match. When you know, and after they, when all the crowd were were expecting uh, some hmm. great result from the team, it's, it takes such a brave decision for our coach, and our coach has taken that. But now, now coming to the match, it it was not only the our eleven players were playing on the pitch, but along with them, you know, our twelfth man, our Blue Tigers fans. Not only throughout the whole game they kept rolling on, mm-hmm. but also before the game, even one hour before the yes, game, the yes. energy they showed outside yes, the stadium. Yes. Isn't it fascinating? Yeah. Yes, yes. The smoke bomb and the uh, chanting, the drums. It was excellent to see and uh, to witness the atmosphere uh, as close as ever. Uh, that was a fascinating experience, not only for me and I think for you guys also. Uh, that was excellent. And um, after during the match also, we hear uh, after considering the goal when. India was looking to make a counter attack and looking for some opportunities. Uh, they were constantly ch- chanting and they were uh, roaring for the uh, team. So that was also a great sight to watch. And uh, the coach also mentioned when he talked with us after the match key, uh, it was a great uh, scene to see such a uh, uh, lot of crowd coming and supporting the team. And though he said sorry to the crowd because of the uh, so result, but uh, he was very happy to see so much people coming and uh, supporting the football team. Yeah, but Shopil, it was a full house, though. Yeah, full I know house, you can't house. stop digging in that bosha, <laughs> but still, I will go to you for the last question. That you know, you also witness even you were capturing those moment of the yeah, 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 and you know, you have been fan of this Indian football team since long time when you were wearing the jersey. That Indian team used to wear in the 2019 campaign. Yeah. You know, where they have beaten Qatar and yeah. all. So, how was the atmosphere last night? See, the last night, the atmosphere was something really. <laughs> Like pleasant for an Indian fan, an Indian football fan, it's really difficult to accept this because Indian cricket has more fans, more people connect with the cricket thing. And how it you know put impact on the players' performance? Yeah, yeah, because as you said, you guys said the twelfth man. Yeah, it's the motivation, it's the mental strength that the fans give to the players. No fans means like in we know a year or two years ago. Sunil Chetri came live and made a great statement. Like, and come on, then, yeah, yeah, since then, then, then we can we can't see yes. that much fans in ISL also. Yeah. Like we see in our Indian team game, and that's where Indian football is growing. That's the part. That's when Indian football started growing. When Indians t- took football seriously, they they went like they go to every Indian nation game, nation. They support the Indian team, yeah. the Indian football team, rather than Mohun Bagal, East Bengal, Odisha FC, Jamshedpur FC. We have to support our nation. Fans make the 12th man difference that you said. When 11 players are playing, when you look, in, look into the crowd, look into the stands, you see hundreds of people shouting India, That's India, it. India. And that makes a different bl- a blow in your blood. So of course, you know, and I am very confident that Igor Stevens. Will, will not fail to you know live up to their expectation mm-hmm. and will pay this, the this team reward has the to capital. them you know in the upcoming future of course and now we, we are going to wrap up this much for now from Bhubaneswar but before yeah. wrapping up I would like to announce that our para football is kicking off from 25th November yeah. because you know so far we have seen some uh, promising youngster performing in ISL in Indian team and not but in para football you know you will get some local talents who are aspiring to become future Indian footballer or future ISL star. Men and women. Yeah, of course. Shopnil. 48 teams, 24 men, 24 women. It's gonna be a blast. Yeah, we will keep sharing you some you know fascinating videos from yeah. para football. We are going gonna share with you those those greatest the long rangers goal because last <laughs> yeah, year yeah, we yeah. Oh, that was something so else. you guys something are gonna else. miss it we'll keep sharing it with you but for that, you need to stay tuned to Web Sports to get all the updates from para football as well as from the sports world.